64. Don't think I don't know why you're having me count, so I won't talk about anything else. There's nothing else to talk about. Oh, other than the fact that you're about to become Mrs. Henry Coleman? He thought of everything, Margot. When I saw that altar, I almost cried. Yeah, well, who'd have thunk you'd get wisteria this time of year? Yeah, because that's Henry. He remembered it and thought about it because I told him once that when I was little, I used to dream about living under a bower of wisteria. All right, fine. So he's starting this marriage off by fulfilling that dream. Hmm? Not just that dream. All of my dreams. Honey, that's a pretty tall order for any man to fill. What if he can't deliver? Everything is going to be fine, Margot. I love Henry. <gasps> Yeah, well, Katie, I was there when you walked in and you saw Mike standing there by the altar. And you know what? I have to get into my gown. You have never looked at Henry Coleman the way you just looked at Mike. Baby, you don't have to go through with this. I want to. Why? Because you think that this marriage will fill some sort of hole in your heart? That's not possible. So unless you find a new heart, you better do the right thing and call this off. I want to marry Henry, Margot. He loves me. All of me. And I can count on him. Not just for the small things, but the big things too, like loyalty. Henry would never lie to me, he would never cheat on me, and most importantly, he would never leave me, and I haven't always had that in my oh, life. All right, okay, right. He, I am the most important person in the world to him, Margot. I know, Katie, but... Please. <sighs> Please, just stop asking questions and be happy for me. Because I am. I need to get dressed. I don't want to keep my groom waiting. Hey, I'm Margot Hughes. I remember you. Ah, sibling humor. I get it, almost always. How's Kitty? She's happy, very, very happy. She won't allow anyone to tell her otherwise. Oh, no. This is not the last minute advice she needs. Well, maybe I better get my cast off out of there. No, no. This is something that he has to do. Are you okay? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Well, because Mike has been in there for a long time, and he and Katie have quite a history. And if it isn't history, I would rather them figure that out now than later. Really? Because you two seem, you know, pretty involved. I love Mike, but I haven't lost my head yet. I've always known that this could be a possibility. Okay, so hopefully he's just in there wishing her a long and happy life. Is that really what you hope for? That Mike ends up with me? Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, I Whoa, 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 he's up there. You're gonna lose a ring finger. <laughs> Think I'll need it? Yeah, I talked to Katie, and she's definitely planning on getting married. To me or someone else? Oh, come on, Henry. You always knew this could happen, didn't you? Yeah, always. There is a difference between knowing it and living it, Margo. I, I woke up this morning. It was a crazy, crazy thing, and I just started to believe that maybe she could marry me. To be my pride. Katie will be ready in a minute. Ready? For me? I'm getting married. Yes. <laughs> getting married. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm getting married, everybody. I think you uh, better start the music. <laughs> 